everyone, it's April with hashtag style by April bringing you 365 days of style tips. How are you? I hope that you've enjoyed your week and that you've been looking at the videos that I've been posting and that you've been sharing them and that you've also been getting some great advice. If there's ever anything that you want more advice on or you think that you might want something else for me to kind of expand on in these videos, definitely send me an email or leave a comment below and let me know that you want me to do that, okay? So these are the style tips from March 31st to April the 6th. Okay, style tip number 70. I said dark denim jeans are appropriate for evening events. You know, sometimes you get invited to go to different evening events and it's not as dressed up as you might be invited to. Like it's just a little networking event or something really casual, an after five type of event um, at a local restaurant with some girlfriends. And you want to go ahead and dress up a little bit, put on some sparkly shoes or a really cute pump. A, a really girly top and then some skinny dark denim jeans and the dark denim reads better in the evening time it says I'm dressed up a little bit more anytime that you want to go to a casual event but you want to be a little bit more dressed up I say go for a dark denim jean a skinny fit would be the best or boot cut whichever one makes you look the best for your body type okay but make sure it's a dark denim wash style tip number 91 I said 70 before, but I'm sorry. It's 91. We're on our 90s. Oh, my. Style tip number 91. When you're having a bad hair day, I said that it's a really good idea to try a fedora, a cute fedora, rather than putting on a baseball cap. You know, I'm not saying every day we have to be on. It's great if we can, but I know there's some days where you have to get up really quick, go to the grocery store, run a few errands, and you're having a really bad hair day. Instead of throwing on a ratty baseball cap, try a nice cute fedora. Even for the winter time, they come in the, the um, uh, tweed or something of that nature, or even for spring, they come in nice straw, straw type, straw type, hat, straw type hats, or even try a Panama hat. So try one of those rather than putting on a disgusting baseball hat. Baseball hats are cute when you're going to an outing, a baseball game or a basketball game and you want to kind of put it on and kind of have your hair curls and kind of be really girly with it. That's cute. But sometimes it's just better just to just try to dress it up a little bit even though you're trying to keep it low key, okay? Stop to number 92. Sometimes we get a, a costume jewelry from places like Forever 21, Topshop, um, Zara. They're, they're, those are costume pieces. They're not fine jewelry, not really made out of silver, not really made out of gold, but they are, they're gold plated or they're covered with a gold type of polish. And those pieces are really great. They make the best statement jewelry and that might be in your budget. And a lot of times I love, I love costume jewelry. I do costume jewelry more than I do fine jewelry just because it comes in so, so many more variety of styles and it dresses up a look really easily with um, trendy jewelry if you're looking to try trends. If you want to keep your costume jewelry for a longer period of time, I said go ahead and take clear nail polish and cover the top, cover the, the uh, part that's silver or gold with the clear nail polish. Do one coat, let it dry, do another coat, flip it over, do the same with the back part of the chain. So don't put it on the actual beads, but put it on the metal type. This will make sure that your costume jewelry lasts a lot longer and looks a lot prettier without looking tarnished and turned. Does that make sense? Great. Next, style tip number 93, you're planning a trip. Spring break is right around the corner. Some of you are taking lots of spring break trips and you might want to go someplace where you're going to dress up. Anytime you have delicates or things with like beading or that are something that you don't want to get messed up, take some few pieces of tissue paper and wrap them up in your tissue paper. That way they stay nice and neat and they don't rub up against anything else like jeans that you might have inside of your bag that could easily snag it or wrinkle it a lot more. Rolling it up and folding it up inside the tissue paper will keep it from getting damaged, okay? Style tip number 94. I said a great DIY project. You ever have some pumps or some heels that you, 
you're not sure you want to keep, but you know that they need something that'll kind of take it up a notch. I said a great DIY project product project would be to take your pumps and on the heel part, put some embellishments on them. You know, just kind of give them a repurpose them. Just kind of give them an update. Just take it as a DIY project one day. Use some super glue. Use some clear glue so it doesn't look clumpy. But then you want to just go ahead and put some studs or some embellishments on your heels and give them a new look. Okay? Style tip number 95. I said April showers. We are in the middle of spring. And, you know, it's going to be a lot, a lot of rain. It's the rainy season. I said that you should try to color or accessorize your rainy day year to make it colorful. So try rain boots that have a splash of color, try uh, umbrellas with funky patterns, raincoats and trench coats that just kind of give the rainy day a, a little bit more of a happier glow, okay? All right, next, I said style tip number 96. As the weather is getting a little bit warmer and we're approaching um, the warmer days of spring, I said mineral powder makeup or mineral eyeshadow or any kind of mineral makeup is a lot lighter. And it's better in the spring and summer months because it's a lot warmer. You won't feel like you're melting or you have a whole lot of makeup on. But bronzer and mineral makeup just kind of gives you a little bit of a glow. And it's easier for when you're trying to do things like you're going out to the amusement park or to the beach uh, and you don't want to put on a lot of makeup but you want to look a little but you want to look cute have a little bit of a glow try some mineral makeup that'll help you out okay so those are the style tips for march 31st to april the 6th those are our style tips for the week and i'm so excited thank you everyone who has been going to my website and pre-ordering my book manic monday makeover how to plan a stylish work week i want you to go now and at least buy one for yourself and one for a friend. These, this is a great book for someone who just had a baby, is going back to the work workforce. It's also great for anybody who is trying to figure out what their work style should be, how to not have such a crazy work week, and how to plan it in style. You plan everything else. Why not plan your work week? I show you how to do it, how to figure out what you're going to be planning your work week for. So it's $9.99, pre-ordered. I'll do a signed copy. This is a great girlfriend gift. It's a great gift for a new mom. And it's also a great gift for someone that you like at the workplace, that you just want to kind of give them something that's work related, okay? So go on head on over to my website and purchase one of those now, okay? I have a lot of other beauty and style resources that you can go and purchase over at our website, www.iconiclifestyleinc.com, okay? All right, I hope to see you next week and enjoy this week and continue to be iconic. Bye.